We're going to go live, okay. Well, I don't know about that, mate. Let me we're know. There. We're oh. there. So, introduction time. So, hello, and welcome to Norvald, which is a homebrew Pathfinder campaign set in a land of ice and snow. So, Pathfinder is a fantasy role-playing game that utilizes the collective imagination of, of its players, i.e. us. And today, we're joined by our three adventurers. Uh, Lee is playing Giles, the half elk cleric, who's pledged to the god Nex. We've got Dave, who's playing Angelus, the human rogue, and Ad is playing Ulf, the half elf ranger. We're also joined today by Liam, who is playing for the first, first time today, um, who is playing the, the half orc barbarian named Harold. <laughs> Our adventurers are escorting the chieftain Sved to vote for the next Jarl at the Great Moot. Already they've faced many obstacles in their path. Last session, we encountered a dangerous bottle of fire whiskey, a gamble with an evil slaver, and a boar called Boris Johnson. I'm your Dungeon Master Paris. Let's play. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's that's my, uh, my version of a semi-interesting yeah. introduction. Yeah, it was enjoyed to see how many issues I was having just then, but the audio came through just fine. Also, two broken, <laughs> and and I had to add it in. But uh, but uh, but uh, <laughs> you got any plug for your your, your stream, Lee? Uh, yeah, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash two broken. Go subscribe. Do it. Click now. Yeah. Click. Go now. Do it. And while you're there, go to Ubix Mubik and subscribe Same. there too. So, as Liam has joined us, we're going to start with Liam. Ooh. So, Liam, your character has ended up in Norvald for a particular reason. I assume you haven't really sort of made a backstory yet, but what are you doing in this region? Because at the moment, you're you're alone, lost in the forest. Wow, that sounds about right. It, the direction skills are next to none. Uh, I don't really know why I'm here, to be honest. Just travelling the land. That's fine. Having a nice travel in a, a winter wonderland. Well, at the moment, you're currently in the forest, and you feel like you're being pursued by something. Can you give me a perception check? So you roll your d20, have a look on your character sheet in skills, and have a look for your perception skill and add it onto your... Um, roll. All right, where's my d20? <laughs> so, on the left-hand side, yeah, you've got a list of there. icons. You've got one that looks yeah. like dice. If you hover over it, you've got all the dice yep. there, and you can roll 1d20, 2, 3, 4, yep. or 5. Alright, so roll 1d20. Yep. Let me what know it? what your perception score is, and we'll add that on. And the dice. 11. 11. And on your character sheet, what was your perception skill? It's the big skills on the right hand side, those list of those list of skills in that box. Section. Oh that's great. Zero. Zero. Or <laughs> a zero next to it. That's fine. So you rolled eleven. Yeah. So you can't quite see, but but through the darkness you see lots of shuffling figures and shapes coming towards you. There's many, definitely many more than you think that you would be able to fight. Oh dear. <laughs> That's not great, is it? The only thing you oh see <laughs> is a light in the distance to the right hand side. And it's a bright it's it's a bright light okay. and all of a sudden it blinks out. Well, uh Right. <clears throat> what do we do? What's the question? <laughs> uh, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, what do I do? What do you want to do? <laughs> oh, we... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there no... Have we got no um, directions? Like, no, nothing else around. Yeah, so let's have a look at your sort of skills. You don't really have any knowledge skills in, in terms of looking for anything local. Um, no. So let's have a look what you have. So you've got lots of physical skills. 
you didn't roll very well on your perception. Yeah. So all you know really is that you're in this wood. You're on a path at the moment, and the path veers off to where that light has just gone out. Right, okay. So on the right hand side so of we'll you, there's this, this path is leading. Then. On the left hand side, these creatures are shuffling towards you. So yeah. you begin to walk, run. Yeah, we'll travel towards the light. Yeah. Okay. So as you move through yeah. the forest, you notice that these these things that are shuffling behind you, they're getting louder and louder and louder. Whilst they're moving very slowly, they seem to be keeping pace with you. And as you move towards the area where the lights blinked out, you see what looks like a very large wooden building. Windows are open. Windows are, are closed. The door's shut on the front. Um, it looks like smoke has recently been billowing out the chimney. Um, and you don't really hear anything from, from the inside, but you just see this large cabin. There's footsteps in the snow trailing in, there's footsteps in the snow trailing out, but you just see that, that just suddenly the lights in this place have gone off. Still alive, Liam. <laughs> Liam? <laughs> no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. No. oh no. No, no. no. <laughs> I think we lost Liam. I was just saying, there's this lag there's, 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 um, lagging. Okay, that's fine. We can wait for him to join back in. Yeah, his connection's bad, apparently, so... Hmm. Hang on, no, two cool. secs. We'll see, we'll see what we can sort out. So, out of game context, can anyone hear any music that I've put on? Yeah. Can you? Only a little bit of a beat, but it's not distracting. I can hardly hear it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's, it's just going to wipe out my ad stream and, you know, it's going to mute out all the audio because of copyright <laughs> laws. But it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear anything on my end? Can you hear the TV in the background? No, yours is fine. It's just Dave's. No, okay. <laughs> cool. I know. I feel like a, a BRB might be. <laughs> it's like musical intermission. Oh, can you hear the dinging? Is that sorry? <laughs> Sound like an airplane. Put your seatbelts on. Sound. <laughs> it's just. It's just getting exciting. I'm really excited for him to get back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> All the lights went out on us, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, what happened last? Just went boom. Oh, oh, yeah. So where do you think he's outside of? That's one for Kim. If all the bad stuff's on the outside, can we just bolt the door? <laughs> <laughs> Leave him to well, it. No one's near the door yet, and you know, I'm I'm going to give him first refusal to try and enter. Uh, name of Lee's sex tape. So he's loading. Is he going to get back in? Is he rebooting his router? It's not his router. No, he's, he's, his laptop's pretty old. I'll give you a new SSD and everything. A new copy of Windows 10 and things like that. So it should be relatively okay. It was working fine when I used it. Yeah, it is. Oh, level. Here it comes. I mean, now we might have to join a <coughs> chat. Uh... <laughs> 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 you can hear him with a clear connection. Yeah, uh, yeah, we would have him on video, but but he wouldn't be We'd get him on audio, though, wouldn't we? 
Yeah, we'll or does that to, not work? Um, the problem is, is he wouldn't be able to see any visuals on screen, so it would be pure. Uh, mind you, he could watch the stream on his phone. There's a slight delay, but it would give him an idea of what's going off. Yeah, he could do that, and then we can have a. Like, a every time we ask him a question, just give you like five seconds. Mm. <laughs> you can always cut out the technical issues, can't you? Yeah. Find oh, a way. Yeah. What about if he switches his camera off, so we just hear his audio? Maybe that'll, yeah. um, because that'll do wonders for his bandwidth, won't it? Mm. Mm. Here we go. It's getting exciting. <laughs> it's like we got a new player, but he can't join. <laughs> no, it's good. It's looking good. Just send him off. Um, yeah, camera's off, so he should be able to come in. He should be able to. It looks like Probably audio's off as well because it's got the pause next to his name. He's pop his audio on. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. This is like the this is like the pinnacle of what we've been working towards. <laughs> what a, a player party of four. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, this is like the best. Uh, camera's off, okay. Um, cool. Yeah, but he needs to turn his mic back on. Oh, Sorry, I just got audio wrong. Oh, oh yeah. I heard him speak Hello? then. Hello? Hello, Hello mate. Hello, Hello. yes. <coughs> right, let's resume. So you found yourself outside a large wooden building, Liam. This is Hello. the building that the lights have just come out. <laughs> oh, can you not hear me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? My God. When everything goes yeah. wrong. Hello? 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 Can you hear us? Fucking connection. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. I can hear you, yeah. Oh, hey. Excellent. Uh, Just about. Can you... oh. <clears throat> cool. Can you hear us okay? Has he got his Xbox down, Dave? I bet. Uh, let me use your Xbox on. Oh, uh, so there's definitely something wrong with his connection more than anything else. I mean, it's not his internet because his internet's fine. Yeah, it's gone again. He says, um, "Can he plug in with an? Has he got an Ethernet cable?" I don't think so, mate. There's right. nothing running updates on that laptop either at the same time. Um. Hey, hey, right, I'm going to invite him into a chat. I'm going to join his party. Cool. I am going to mute you on it, Dave. And I am going to mute... Oh, it's disconnected. Why is it disconnected? Oh, I can hear that music now, Dave. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's getting louder. We can see those glow sticks as well. <laughs> Dave uh, is disconnected <laughs> on the Xbox chat, so I was just—I did tell him—I did tell him to turn the Xbox off when we did, so he's probably done that. I'm just thinking maybe it might be better if we just use the audio for him using Xbox chat, and um, yeah, as long as he can hear Paris and that, it'll be fine. We'll try and sort his other issues out another time. Alright, what's he doing then? Is he uh, just rebooting again? 
Open it now, mate. Just uh, told him to get back on Xbox chat. We can... <laughs> Fuck's sake. He says, you guys play, I'll get a better laptop next week. Oh. Um, no. <laughs> no, we need him because everything is... We need you to play. <laughs> <laughs> need you to play, dude. Fucking hell. Please. Um, I really want to see what you had in store here, Paris. I need to know. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no. especially what, for Liam. <laughs> just get, just get, if we can get him an Xbox chat, then he'll be able to hear. Because, Paris, you can load up Xbox chat, can't you? We can all. As long as, he can, as long as he can hear us all, which he'll be able to. It'll it'll double up our voices, won't it? So he'll be able to hear us and reply. So we just mute each other apart from... Yeah. Apart from Leggy. I've already muted Dave. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Not on here. And, and then he could just watch the stream on, on mute, basically, can't he? Yeah. Well, then that'll work. Hmm. I just told him, it says, um, watch the stream online and we'll talk through the Xbox. Yeah, you've got an okay. Xbox stream, haven't you? What I'll do is I'll just mute you guys. Yeah, I'm just muting you. Do you join mute it as well, Ad? What am I doing? Muting on here. So you join? No, you're joining. You're joining Lee's. I'm um, sorry, Dave or, or whoever's chat on Xbox chat. Right. You know, with the Windows G like you normally would, and then you're muting everyone else on there apart from Liam, who's not in the chat. <laughs> who's not in the chat but he will be joining I hope so I'm trying to convince him to do it and once you've connected that I'll mute you I'm going to get these back on uh, this, this should work right that's you muted could you talk ads just so I know hello. that Hello, 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 hello. Okay, cool. Yep, I'm hello, getting you twice, so my <laughs> audio is working on both ends. Now we just need Leggy, and then we're sorted. Is he loading up his Xbox? Dave? So. Told him to. I think I've just joined... Yeah, I've joined the Xbox chat. I can hear a lot of static. Yeah, you need to mute everyone. Ah, yeah, I can hear Dave, you. apart from Liam. Yep. That'll be because of all our mics like feeding into each other. In fact, I can just mute the whole party, can't I? So. Yeah. Yeah. But you still need to be able to hear Ad, though. Ad? Ad? Liam. Liam. Come on. Like he's online. Here we go. Oh, hey, nice. Right. It sounds, it's, I swear to God, this feels like we're at mission control. <laughs> <laughs> this will be great if it works. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it does. I think Is he in the convo yet? Yeah, we, we won't be alright. I'll move him into the. I think, it, I think this will work because we never have any issues playing games with him, do we? So. Right, so are you taking all the audio now through Xbox Live, and is it working on your stream, and will it work to record? No, I am going to do a mixture of both. I'm just taking the audio for Leggy. Liam on that. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear us, Liam? I think if I turn the volume for the chat all the way up here and mute myself... Liam? Can you still hear me? Hello, oh, okay. there we go. We can hear you. I can't hear him. <laughs> oh, wait, he, yeah. he just said hello and then he was really quiet. I think it's because I muted the chat anyway. Yeah, I have muted it. Yeah. yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah. Sound? Unmute him. Because if I mute or mute him on the Xbox, I can hear him through this. If I can awesome. Hear him through this. So. Have, have you muted Xbox completely, Dave? Or. Yes. Hang okay. On. So we can hear Liam and you can't then, Dave. Hang on. Like you talk. 
Like, he talked for me, mate. <laughs> yes, nice. got him. <laughs> nice one. I'll be there. I've got you real time. Excellent. So, Liam, I can make all the rolls for you if you like. Um, so just tell me what you want to do and then I'll roll. I've got your character sheet here so we can just make it easy. So you can, yeah, as I say, you tell me what you want to do. Um, I'll do the working out loud. And if there's something I've done wrong, just let me know. Um, because I'm also keeping track of all the enemies as well. So uh, awesome. In terms of visuals, I'll describe everything to you, but also you can tune into Lee's stream on your yeah, phone. I'm just trying to load that up now. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So uh, yeah. There, there are visual aids, but they're not like the be all or, or an end all. I... Think of it more like a chessboard, and I'll do the yeah. moving for you. Can I just check something? Right oh, of course. Cool. Mm. No, don't need to. It's all right. It's, it's fine. I've just seen it spike on the Legger's voice. That's perfect. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Uh, is everyone ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you see the stream, Liam? Kind of, yeah. Kind, uh, kind of is good yeah. enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Liam, you found yourself in front of a very large cabin. This looks like a, a place that was pretty busy up until really recently. It's night time, so it's very dark, and smoke is still just sort of billowing out the chimney, just kind of like just the last dregs are sort of chilling out of there. Um, you don't really see it. You don't see any activity on the inside. It looks like if anyone's there, they're, they're on the inside of the building, but that's only a bit of a guess. But these figures are pressing closer and closer. And with your vision, because you can see as, as an orc, you've got dark vision, haven't you? So you can see at night. Yeah. Um, so with what you can see, and you can't see very well because of your rubbish perception um but you can see these shambling figures towards you some are, uh, are on the ground wriggling towards you others are, are shambling but you hear groaning you hear clattering you hear um and and there's this fog that's slowly rolling in right yep so what do you do i'll uh, enter the cabin okay so as you enter the cabin you can see um, the inside of what looks like to you with your dark vision, a tavern. Um, now let's open this up a bit for you then. Give me a second. I'm just going to drag it to the combat map. Okay. So you enter the tavern and the door slams behind you and you immediately see in front of you, they can't see you, but you can see them. You can see, oh, let's do 60 foot. So from you, it's that's five foot, 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot. Basically, you can see the entire inside of this place with your dark vision, actually. Okay. So you see a whole bunch of people cooped up in here looking really confused in the pitch black. Next to you looks like some weird sort of boar that people have just been feasting on, and it seems to be standing there immobile. In front of you, you see a, 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 a tall human. Uh, you see two half-elves standing next to each other, all fully armed. Um, and, and again, everyone else is sort of like looking towards the door, but can't see because it's absolutely pitch black. Right. Okay. So, guys, who's going first then? Who wants to do what? You guys can't see, by the way, because th this tavern's gone absolutely pitch black for you. I'm Joel, going to, like, yeah. I, I am. I'm going to touch myself. Um... <laughs> <laughs> touch myself. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> You're going to use your level zero spell light to light up the immediate area. No, he's going to touch himself. Okay, he's going to touch himself. <laughs> so as Lee touches himself, his clothes sort of light up and, and create a, a, a source of light for the room. You can only see about sort of 10 feet around you, Lee, um, but you've seen this, this very large, very tall. I mean, describe yourself, Liam. What does your character look like? He's just like a tall, hulking, ugly bastard, basically. <laughs> yeah, he's green. He's got slightly pointed ears. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's just he's a, a unit, typical basically. Looking orc. Yeah, typical, typical looking half orc, um, yeah. carrying a great axe, so two-handed axe. Yeah. What do you do? What do I do? 
What 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 does what does Lee do as soon as he sees you? Oh Lee. Go on, Lee. I reach out with bleeding search. <laughs> <laughs> Usual starting <laughs> move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Standard uh... greeting. At least he's playing to character. So bleeding touch yes. requires that you get a successful touch attack um, on Liam's character. Now, because you're doing a, a, a you've opened with an attack. Um, what we need to do is, is, I don't think your character was expecting an attack, were you, Liam? Or would you say would your character expect an attack? You've just been chased by something, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I, it's. I don't think I'd be expecting an attack. No. You have no. to remember that. It's, a, it's a, a dark room, and they are like immobile at the moment. Yeah, that's so, that's as true. As far as as far as I'm aware, these people don't know I'm there. Yeah. Apart from the fact that the door slammed behind me. So suddenly the room's lit up in front of you, Liam. So he's just put light on himself, and a, and, and a, a bright light has actually um, just suddenly flashed around in this room. Actually, being a half orc. I believe you have some issue with that with your dark vision, don't you? Because do you not have a difficulty with light or bright light? Let's have a quick look at your um, feet. I could be wrong. It's not our characters to see anything. Okay, no, it's fine. You don't have an issue with any bright light or anything. That's fine. No, it just allows me to see. Okay, so the the light gets brighter, and you see this eerie sort of thin, pasty cleric half elf reaching out to sort of grab hold of you. So, do you attempt to dodge? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you we'll sort of try dodge. and pull away, um, because you've moved firstly. You catch him sort of flat-footed, so he can't use his dexterity um, to defend himself. Can you roll a d twenty, Lee? Mm. And add your melee attack bonus to it, please. Mm -hmm. Just uh, remember what my melee attack is. Oh, it is zero. plus zero. Fantastic. <laughs> Straight d20. Straight d20, please. And he has to overcome. It would normally be your, well, I suppose <laughs> it's your touch AC, which is 10 oh, for I'm you, so Liam. Sorry. I'm so sorry. This so is 15. what my character would do, though, I'm afraid. So you grab him. And do you want to roll for damage, Lee? It's 1d6, isn't it? Mm. For bleeding touch. 1d6. Is it just a straight 1d6? Straight 1d6. Yeah. Oh, lucky. So, one, you deal one damage to Liam. Now, Liam, your character has a lot of health, 29 health. So this is like a fly swat. So this guy's come out, grabbed you, and you feel like a sting in your arm, and, and your arm starts bleeding slightly. What do you do? Uh, take a look. <laughs> yeah, I'll just th I'll just throw a punch, just a, a, me a melee attack. Yeah, no, okay. not with a weapon, but I'll just fair enough. Back. Just, just a slap, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, just a little slap. <laughs> so neither of you are skilled at um, hand to hand combat, so. Lee uses his touch attacks um, basically to touch you and, 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 and do a spell. Normally it would trigger an attack of opportunity because Lee's unarmed, he doesn't get that on you. So you just get to give him a straight punch. So I'm going to roll d20 plus your melee to attack him. Um, let's have a look, Lee, at your AC. So he's hit you and it's 1d3. Um, oh. 1d3, um, what's it called, damage? It's 1d3 um, non-lethal damage, because it's not a weapon. Uh, so he deals two non-lethal damage to you, Lee. So don't deduct it off your health. Make a tally of that separately. So he mm -hmm. sort of punches you in the face, and there's, like, bruising. Okay. If we're going to continue combat, can we roll initiative? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Initiative. <clears throat> right. I've got your order of, of you you going, Liam. So I'll let you know when it's your round. That's it. Ten for me. Okay. 
10 for Ad. Uh, in it, in this... Oh, that's intelligence. Initiative is like minus one. Yeah. Zoom. 14. 14. Oh shit, did I just do intelligence? No, I didn't miss it. I got 25, dude. Cool, nice. Yo, Liam. So oh, what? Would you say that your character's got dreadlocks? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> No. I've sadly used a token where your character's bald, but I can change that. I've just used a temporary half orc one for now. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so, Dave, your character goes first then in the initiative round. So, you can either choose to make an action, you can choose to talk to him. Well, anyone could choose to talk as a free action. But you've noticed this guy come in. Lee's attempted to grasp this guy and, and, and has done a bit of damage to him, and this guy's just simply punched in return. You st still hear the howling outside, so this god awful shrieking, the the, Arr! and it's getting closer, quickly. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll 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 turn to I'll turn to Liam and be like, <laughs> "Have you brought those things that are outside? Are you with them?" Sorry, in my in my character voice, are you with them people outside? <laughs> it's quite a week. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, anyone anyone can respond. It's a free. It's 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 free action right, to talk, okay. Liam. So you can respond. Right. Don't worry. Yeah. So I, I just respond with no. They were chasing me. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do you know what they were? What did they look like? No idea. Like shadow figures. So I shall, if you're not with them, then can we grab one of these tables and bar the door? Yep, sure thing. Lee, do you, do you back down? Mm. Is your go next after Dave's if he's not going to take a hostile action? Yeah, yeah I, I back down. You know, I've, uh, I've just taken a slap to the face. He is quite tall. He just caught me off guard. And uh, <laughs> since it's not the thing that's actually screeching out there, I think mm. I'll... I'll uh, I'll take it as it's not going to cause any fear of damage to me. Okay, cool. Um, so you guys going to back away from the door then? Yeah, we'll, uh, I'll attempt to grab one of these tables. The Al Angelus and uh, yeah, what's the name character it. called? Cool. I, I, I can add a table in. What's Who your know? character called? Leggy. Harold. Harold. Oh, that was it, Harold. What's your name? Harold. I'm Harold. <laughs> what kind of fucking name is Harold? <laughs> <laughs> you must come from the same region as, region as Giles. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, fair point, fair point. <laughs> so you put the chair in front of the door. Um, I've, I've just placed the chair there. Um, what happens is you suddenly start to hear scraping and scuffling against the door um, and the doors begin to rattle quite heavily. Okay. I shall retreat behind the bar. Okay, so move your character there. And you notice that everyone in the bar gets the fuck away from the door and immediately sort of like behind these tables um vigo retreats but darius is like right in front of him axe drawn and sved just simply turns and draws his axe as he's at the bar yarrow leaps over and tries to push past you both and basically crouches behind there sorry i'm just moving you so i can move the bartender um add so both of them sort of take a step back so everyone's out of the way uh, what does boris do uh, Boris is. What do you going command him to, to do? <clears throat> I think Boris will be all right where he is. Actually, I think uh, mm. you know he's he's got some balls on him, so should be all right. So Boris <laughs> does exactly what you tell him to. You've told him to stop there, and he stopped there. 
that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, so Boris is stopped there for now. Um, okay, are you guys just going to wait? Um, I mean, if you want, you guys want to go outside and check it out. I'll stay is there here. any um, is there any gaps in the door? No, I think it could fit an arrow through. I think you'd struggle to fit an arrow three through, but what you would be able to do is probably see on the other side, provided the light's efficient there. Now, remember, there isn't a whole lot of light in this place because Lee's got the only light. So just remember, you can only really see if I cut this down for what you guys could probably see. Um, you guys, with the exception of Liam, will only be able to see this amount of the bar. So you need to sort your light issue out. Oh, Lee, well, well, oh. why don't I light one of uh, who's next to me? Me, Oof's bows, and he can uh, hopefully miss everyone in the bar when he <laughs> fires it across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good trick. Feeling and get like a light shining down. You can, yeah, fire if you, if you light up one of my arrows and I'll fire it yeah. into the door. I need to keep a, a tally on this actually. So I'll light um, one of your arrows. Yeah. So do you just fire it at the door? Ab? Aim for the door yet to hit it in the air. Yeah. So if you sort of fire it in that vague direction, then this gets revealed. And that's sort of what you, what your character, what everyone's okay. able to see. Um, but as I say, there's still... What I'll do is I'll reveal it for you, Liam, and then on your turn, and then I'll hide it for everyone else. Or I'll just tell you what's around you, Liam, and, and you'll act unopposed. Is that all right? Yeah, 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 that's fine, yeah. Because you're the only one with dark vision here. Everyone yeah. else has either has low light vision or, or something else. So um, I know the elves can see a tiny bit more um, than the humans, but ultimately it is, it is pitch black in here apart from those two lights. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, so you've put you've put the out the thing on the door and it begins to rattle more, but it holds for now. So you guys next. Anyone else want to do anything else? Um, no. Hi, Giles, come over here and touch me. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing with that. Is if I do this, I will have no more level zero uh, cleric spells. You can class use. your you can class your level zero spells indefinitely, Lee. You just have okay. to use the same three that you've used. Yeah, oh, okay. so you're either going to have to use the what what did you what bleeding did you touch. use earlier today? No, bleeding bleeding touch isn't a um, bleeding touch is one of your. Um, uses of, of oh, your negative energy leaves. So in terms of your zero level spells, you've only used light. Just make sure I haven't used any of us from last time. So you can use four per day and you use one ah. of them, but you can use light indefinitely, Lee. Okay, that's fine. I, I can't hmm. see where you are, so I'm just going to slowly move over. Yep. Cool. Can I give him a slap when I get to him as well? <laughs> <laughs> So if if you say you're just going to light him, I'll just light him up for you, Lee. Yeah, uh, I'm going to light him up. Cool. Since he has over there, excellent. So. And then you can move back to where you were if you want. Yeah. They need to tell me twice. Cool. <laughs> um, you notice that Sved breaks out a, a torch, and he shines it around himself, and Darius does exactly the same thing. Oh shit! Oh, now they do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were in pitch black, so they had to go through their backpacks and, and you know, basically spend a round fuddling around for stuff. So they've just lit their um, their torches. Um, and as this just sort of final, final round happens, the door breaks and the chair gets flung across the room. <laughs> All right. Bye, off stations, everyone. So the door fire uh, the door fires open and you can see at least three crawling skeletons rapidly shuffling towards you. 
Right. In terms of who go, whose go it is, it is your go first, Dave. Yeah. Right. Well. Um, well, I've got throwing axes on me, and I've got my bow on. And I mean, are, yeah. are, are these guys? So all this has been broken in. All this here is broken into. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that door, consider it not there. Right. Okay. I can see these guys pretty clearly. How fast are they moving? You don't know, because they're already there at the door. The, the three of them have been trying to bash it through for a while. Oh, but they don't have legs. So that yeah. might give you an indication of their level of speed. Okay. Um, and you've missed in a hand. Yeah, Not you, None that you can see. Actually, give me a perception. Oh, dear. What what is, is, what's a clean skeleton? 13. A clean skeleton? Mm. What do you mean? Skeleton so, that's out of shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so decom decompose corpse, one corpse or corporal undead. Uh turn a corpse into clean skeleton. Oh, so that's if you want to so that's if you want to get the flesh off it. I just turn ah, it into a skeleton. I see. So you can do that to a dead body if you just want the skeleton to come from it. So Got it could you. be that you want to take the face off a corpse or you, you want to turn it into a skeleton so you can raise it as that. You're looking at your level one spells, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. Um, so in terms of what you can see then, um, did anyone roll a perception? 13, I got 13 okay uh, so no you you don't you don't see uh, uh, any ring on these you don't see any missing hand either 14 so. yeah you don't you, you see the same thing all, all fingers and hands are accounted for for what you see um yeah. so dave what are you gonna do first of all before i do any moves i'm gonna turn around to jazz like jazz what have you done <laughs> 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 it won't fuck me. <laughs> um, well, I think I'll take up a bit more of a defensive maneuver and go back a bit. If I can. Okay. Cool. I will change the reveal accordingly. So, uh, reveal you, and I'll hide this area cool but I can still see these dudes over here by the door because that's yeah yeah I'm... everything you're able to see you can still see because of ads arrow cool um then yeah, I guess wait. I'll... wait there's Darius's torch sorry so basically it's not made that much of a difference cool so I guess I'll um I'll uh I'll throw an axe at the middle one, if I can. Okay, so your axe has a maximum... Well, it has 30 feet until you start taking penalties. Okay, so I'm good for from here. So... Shit. So 35 <laughs> feet, pit feet, you only take a minor penalty, so let's have a quick look at your character sheet. So if you take your throwing axe from beyond... 30 feet, you get a minus two penalty to it. Right, okay, that's if I throw my axe. What about if I, uh, if I, go so my, if I choose to fire my bow, then? If you choose to fire your bow, then that's fine. You won't take any penalties from that. So you have your short, short bow. Um, yeah. You get a plus four bonus to hit with your short bow, and it's just 1d6 cool. damage. Uh, 1d6 it is. I will go with the bow. Okay, so roll d20 and plus four to hit. Gold E20. That is nine plus a D6, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry, nine plus four. Oh, nine plus, yeah. So that's 13. To hit. That's a miss, I'm afraid. <laughs> so your arrow goes sailing just by it. You completely miss it. Um, so that is your go, unless you want to do a movement. I'll, unless you want to um, move your character. I'll probably take a. Oh, shit. I'll take a bit more of a defensive manoeuvre behind this part of the table here. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're all carrying in the corner. Nice. 
Well, nice, manly. I, I stood I, there. I... <laughs> I'll be all right in a minute. I've got. I can uh, hide myself got from these plan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've just realised that I can hide myself from undead. Excellent. Uh, Lee, it's your turn. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, I'm going to use one of my spells here. And uh, that spell is called... I've lost it. I've actually lost it. There it is. Hide from undead. It Excellent. Lasts for, it lasts for 20 minutes. Yeah. So what does hide from undead do? Uh, undead cannot see, hear, or smell creatures warded by the spell. Uh, the DC is 13. It lasts 20 minutes. Yep, found it. So you, you target is two creatures that you can touch. Oh, lovely! Who's next to me? Oh, could you could you do Boris and doing some stealth attacks on them with Boris? I could do, but I don't know if Boris is going to be strong enough to to do damage to them, like a lot of damage. Oh, well, he's an undead boar, isn't he? He is. I reckon you might be stronger. But uh, let's give it a go. I'll move over to Boris. So it's not a touch attack anyway, is it? No. If a will, if there's a willing creature, then it's fine. Cool. All right. Me and Boris then. Me and Boris um, are going to have this hide from undead. Okay. So you it, because it's touch, you need to be right next to Boris. Right. So it can only be something you you're touching. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you touch Boris, and you touch yourself. <laughs> And as far as <laughs> as <laughs> as far as the undead are concerned, you've disappeared. Now the, the 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 thing about this spell is, Lee, if either of you make a hostile action, they can see you. Oh, no. And you, you can th they can then see you after you've made the hostile action. Um also as well, they all get a chance to break the spell because it's like an illusion. Um so it's DC 13, they have to beat to be able to see you. So that's a fail. So one of them can see you. Okay. I've marked the ones that can see you and the ones that can't. But first thing I'm going to do is go back over there. Okay. Um, you one, can't move that much in one round, Lee. So you need to stay there because you've already done your movement in your action. So you nice. need to stay next to Boris. Ooh, it's been really horrible tonight, like guys. He's <laughs> <laughs> things after I, we've done them. I, I like, am oh, not. You want to do that? Oh, by the way, this is useless. <laughs> I am not. It's not useless at all. You've you've hidden from most of them. You're certainly <laughs> hidden from the skeleton that's going to go now. Which ones that so, I can't see? Which ones you've marked? That's fine. I've not marked them for you because you don't know. Okay. Um, so this thing is going to try and push straight past you, um, which it is because it's this, this door is certainly wide enough, um, and it's going to move into the room. Uh, so it's going to get to here and push fat past you, triggering an attack of opportunity if you should take it. So basically, you get a chance to bosh it with your sickle. Yeah, I'm going to take if it if you want to. Yeah, so one d six. It's it's one d twenty. So you mm -hmm. still need to roll to Hitley. Right. Uh, is that straight d20? I can't remember. Yeah, it's straight d20. Because of your oh, strength no. check is rubbish. So four. Uh, so you miss. So you try and swipe for this thing and it can now see you, but it's, you know, because you've taken a hostile action against it, but you, you've missed your attack of opportunity. Um, who goes next? It is Ad, your turn. Um, I'll grab a bit of rag from behind the bar, 
wrap it around yeah. one of the arrowheads and use one of the shots of the fire whiskey, dip it in that, oh, and I'll man. pass it over and say, Sved, light this. And then I'll fire it at one of the remaining skeletons outside. Okay, so there's quite a lot there. What I'm going to say is you're going to be able to prep the arrow, right? pass it over to Sved for light, but next round you're going to be able to light it, okay. um, actually fire it. So it's now lit, Sved's got it, and he's handing yeah. it you back now, and your go ends, and then you get fire arrow on, on, on the next round. Um, yeah. Um, so next go, we've got another skeleton type of thing now you can't see this but can you I'll, I'll roll a perception for you liam to see if you can which you can so liam you see a taller skeleton figure standing up and it looks like it's got a long stick in its hand with a with a drawstring like a very long long bow it right. pull it draws it back pulls it and it fires into the room immediately at oh god you lit up Dave, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> quite brightly. It can't see Lee. It can't see Boris. Um, you, the, you're the obvious me, target, I'm afraid. Um, it's going to roll to hit you. So um, let's have a quick look. So that is... Like so, yeah, and plus two. What's your you AC? My AC? Yeah. Uh, 15 in total. 15. So the arrow just kind of like scatters against your armor. It doesn't do anything. It just kind of bounces off you. It's an old useless arrow. Um, it doesn't manage to find its mark. Aha. Where are um, these? <laughs> next go is, is you, Liam. What would you like to do? Right. Um, is there a skeleton close enough for me to attack? Yeah, so the, the skeleton that's pushed past, past Lee, oh, actually, he's lit up, isn't he? So I might as well reveal all the areas behind around him. Uh, so you can see the one behind Lee. He's close enough to have an a, a immediate attack. You'll only have to shuffle slightly. Um, you can try and push past Lee and, and head out the door. Um, but from what you can see, you'll then be surrounded by these creatures because they're all currently yeah. trying to pile in. Um, so, yes, there there is a, a viable so option. I... I will use uh, a power attack, one of, my, one of my feats. Excellent. A power attack on the one that's pushed past Lee. So, which side would you like to go? Would you like to go? Can you see this, Liam, on the on on Lee's map? Or can you not? Do you want to be closer yes, to I the door or further away from the door? Do you want to be here, further away from here, the door. or here? So further away from the door. I'll put you there. Yeah. Um, and we'll roll power attack for you. So power attack means that basically you're less accurate to hit. I'm ex just explaining for the others, Liam. I know you know this. Yeah. You're yeah. less accurate to hit, but your damage increases if you have this feat. So Liam puts a little bit more power in at the cost of accuracy. And what that does is it takes two off his, his attack to hit, but adds two on his damage. Um, I probably over-explained that. Um, so, Harold, <laughs> let's have a look at your... What weapon are you using? Your Great Axe? Great Axe, yeah. Excellent. So with your Great Axe, um, you normally have a plus six, so it's going to be a plus four to hit. I'm afraid that's a, a miss, Liam. Okay. You only rolled six. Damn. Sad times. So you swipe the great axe and you, you just miss completely, I'm afraid. Um, whose go is it next? Uh, skeletons go. So the, the next skeleton that's going to come into the room is one that can see you, I'm afraid, Lee. So it <laughs> moves to attack you. Uh, and it rolls to hit. Oh, potentially critical. Ooh. What's your AC, Lee? My AC is nine. That is indeed a critical. So this thing is going to take a swipe at you with one of its claws. Um, it's got a, a, a broken claw that it's going to try and hit you with. So yeah. that is... Eight plus one nine. That's nine damage. It's going to take on your leg. Oh dear! So it takes a big that's chunk true. out of your leg. 
It does more than that. My HP <laughs> on my my records is eight, which means I am on the floor. Since you level up, Lee, it's thirteen. Is it? Yeah, it's thirteen. Your health oh. is. Okay, give me a sec. So you've got four health left. Let me just save that so I don't lose that information. Cool. I'm barely alive, guys. I need some help. Is it my turn? Uh, no, we've got more skeletons to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm afraid, Lee, um, the, these others two can't see you and they just try and pile in. Um, there is a bowman they? there um, that can see you, but because of everyone's in the way, he's going to try and hit you, but he might not be able to. Let's have a look. So because you're in melee combat, there's a chance, and I'll use the percentage dice roller, that he can um, he can hit you. It's 50-50 that he hits you or his friend. So he's taking an aim, and he's firing. And he critically misses his friend. And I'm going to say what's going to happen is his bowstring snaps, and the bow falls uselessly. And you see, Liam, you see this skeleton's a bit more well-armoured than the others. It decides to draw a large sword instead. Oh, oh. And that's the end of its go. Um, and that, as they say, is the end of that. So that is is, is that, that round of uh, complete. Uh, Dave, your turn. Okay. <clears throat> Well, if I tried to shoot anyone, Harold's in the way now. Mm. So, oh, guess, sorry. Um, I've, rather than Dave go, sorry, Boris goes at the end of the turn. What do you want Boris to do, Lee? Uh, oh, Boris. Boris well, needs sorry, to Dave. Um, attack. Oh, which one can see me? This can guy. You, can you light him up, Lee, before you send him out? Light Boris up. He's hidden at the moment from some of the guys. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking he can light up the bow blokey outside. <clears throat> uh, he can see me. But he's outside, mind you. There's no door on his. He's meaning if you put if you do the light spell on Boris, and when Boris see. goes out, you can all see where he's going. Um, but fortunately, it would have to be Lee's turn for him to do that. Though yeah. Boris can't, oh, okay. Boris yeah. can attempt to yeah, push yeah. back past these skeletons, but they're piled up seriously in the door, so he's going to struggle. Can Boris attack the the? Uh, where's my ping? Wait a minute, I've lost my ping action. Where is it? Boris can really oh, attack God. the guy in front of Yuli. That's all he can do. He that, can't really attack anyone left behind. Door. I'm just trying to yeah. find where the ping thing has gone. Just just hold down left mouse button. Is that it? Oh, you have to hold it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, this guy here. Or this guy here. Yeah. Okay. Um, you prefer him to attack the guy behind you? You have okay. to specifically order him to, Lee. I want him to attack the guy between me and um, cool. Harold. So, he's going to turn. He can't move and attack at the same time because he's staggered. Um, but he turns around and he basically slams his body into the skeleton behind you. Um, so he rolls to hit. <laughs> That's two crits, crits this game. And Boris does, with his slam attack, 1d6 plus 4. He's got a crit, though, so it doubles his damage. Nice. He's rolled six, so that's twelve damage plus four. Good boy. It's a just have a quick look at the damage resistance on the skeleton. Yeah, gets through that. Um so that skeleton falls apart. Ooh, twelve. So it literally oh, just nice. gets crushed. Nice. Boris Johnson, not as useless as you think. That's it. <laughs> I'm talking about Boris. I'm, I'm, I'm not making any political commentary. I'm politically neutral. I'm talking about Boris Johnson, the boar. The boar. The boar. Yeah. Boris Johnson. Brilliant. 
Right. So, who's next? It is you next, uh, Dave. Right. <clears throat> well, I suppose uh, our best um, our best move. And I'm going to move and stand side by side with uh, Harold. Yep. Uh, can, can you stand the other board. side of Harold? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm moving aside. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. And I, uh, I draw my bow, and I aim at that one. Yeah, cool. Done. Uh, so D twenty plus. Let's have a look. How much is it for you for your short bow? Uh, plus four. That's nineteen. Roll was that a, a roll of a... Well, it doesn't matter either way. Um, that's a hit. Cool. And 1d6 damage for me, please, Dave. 1d6 is 3. 3? Yep. Um, so you fire your arrow this th at this thing, and it sort of hits the bones, but then you notice it glances against it and just kind of rattles uselessly off at the side. <laughs> it doesn't seem that that weapon is... is particularly uh, um, effective against this type of creature. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll turn to, I turn to uh, Wolf and I go, uh, I think we better, better take on a hands-on approach to these uh, enemies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I <laughs> go back over my shoulder <laughs> and draw my sword. Yeah, but fire. In prep. That's true. That's very true. Um, Lee, your turn. Is it already? Oh, yeah, it was Boris. It's because Boris it? goes at yeah, the end of sure. the round. Right, so this guy straight in front of me. Um, oh, best tech. What is that music? You can see opera music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave's fighting music. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, I don't what really thing? have much for close combat, and I really don't want to use any spells. Do you know what? I'm just going to go for a straight uh, melee attack on this guy in front of me. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so that's d20 plus nothing. Mm -hmm. 14. So 14 is a miss on these creatures. Okay, guys, that's pretty high. Um, nice. So that's a miss, I'm afraid. Um, who's next? Adja next? Oh, wait, no, we've got, sorry, we've got a skeleton next. Um, so that is going to... Oh, no, that was the one that pushed past Lee. Sorry, no, it is you next, Dad. Um, right. Sved's ready. He's got the flaming arrow. Yes, yeah, so I'll take the flaming arrow off him. Mm. Um, and can I f just fire it like into the deck here? Yes, you can. Uh, is is the point? What's what's your purpose? Set fire to that deck. <laughs> set fire to the deck. Okay. You, you're going to set fire to the only entrance to the <laughs> the the hut. Could um, you, could you, <laughs> could you yeah, roll me? There's plenty of beer in here to put it out after. We're fine. Okay, oh, that's fine. Um, so you fire at the the deck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you roll me a d20? Yeah, sure. Fourteen. So is that plus five to hit? Yeah. So so you hit the ground just fine. You, you're only looking at hitting the deck. You, you hit a plank easily. Um, can you roll me your one d? What is it for your damage for you? 1d8. Um, 1d8, an additional 1d3 for fire damage, please. Okay, so... So it's just 1d6 to half for the second one. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah, for seven then. Seven, and how much fire damage did you do? Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, so what was it, four... 
So I rolled four for the one d eight. Yeah. And then what was it for the fire? And then it was one d six, but you halved the damage for fire because okay, it's a one d three. Sorry, I'm making you work out one d three weirdly. <laughs> so if you have a if you have the roll from a one d six and yeah. you halve it, yeah, and you round it up to the nearest number, then that's the result as if you rolled a one d three. Oh, so, which is the okay. amount of fire damage you do. Three. You got a three. Yeah. Okay, cool. So rolled six, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that yeah. makes sense. So you got three on the on the deck. Um so the deck begins to sort of sizzle a bit, but because it's quite <laughs> damp, it kind of just like makes a kind of like lame Oh, no. thing the arrow's where's, still where's burning a little right? but it's not quite catching um so what you do get is you get a little bit of extra light until it sort of flickers out um so you get kind of like 10 foot so you quickly see this creature here and you're an elf aren't you so you've got low light vision yeah so you actually even see these no, behind no. oh shit. and then all of a sudden God. It flashes out again. Oh, piss. Sort yourself out, Giles. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get... Oh, no. Um, we've got one more um, go. <clears throat> and that is going to be this guy who... Oh. What about... oh, I can delete the door. I didn't know that. Excellent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that door's gone. Um, this guy is going to attempt to attack Lee. Oh dear. Remind me what your AC is, Lee. Uh sorry, I was just looking for something else. One sec. My AC uh, your AC is nine. Have we missed Liam's go? Or have you what? No, I've been attacked. We missed Liam's go. Oh, okay. No, he's but he's being attacked. Um So this thing's hit you again, Lee, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Regular hit though, so don't worry. I am worried. It's hit you for three damage. Ooh, oh. Okay, I need to uh, heal myself pretty soon. You do. Are you going to touch yourself again, Lee? <laughs> Something like that. Liam, your turn. What would you like to do? This party's getting owned. Go on, Liam. Do the business. <laughs> Liam. Right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to attempt to push Lee out the way and no block the door off. Yeah, that's fine. Is are, are you a willing participant of this, Lee? Uh, I I will I will cradle into a little ball and <laughs> freaking roll it wherever he throws me. No problem whatsoever. So this is what's called a combat manoeuvre. So Lee has a combat maneuver um, defense, and you have a what's called a, a combat maneuver um, attack bonus, Liam. What I'm going to say is I'm going to forgo that because he's a willing participant in getting the fuck out of the way. Yeah. What I am going to say is this would normally be an action that would take a turn. So I'm going right. to say if you do this, you can't do anything else this round. That's fine. Yeah, but you put yourself in the way. So you essentially yeah. bull rush him. And Lee gets out the way, and Lee gets sort of pushed out the way. Yeah. And you're now in 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 the doorway, take soaking up that damage for him. No problem. Hold the door. Hold the door. <laughs> 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 yeah, you are now essentially yeah. Hodor. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, excellent. Thank you, Liam. Um, Dave, your turn. Oh no, sorry, Boris. Ooh. Good day, Boris. Oh, come on, Boris. Right. Boris. Boris. Fucking Boris C. Boris can see Give me a second, I'm just checking what he can see because he's undead. Um he can Boris as as far as you're aware, Boris doesn't have an issue. Thing. Boris is going to run for one of those guys outside to attack. Can he do that? Can he do that? He's going to have to try and bullrush one of these guys out of the way. So he's going to have to do what Liam did with you. 
Mm-hmm. So he's going to have to attempt to, he's either going to have to push one of them back or, or you know, shove through the door. So, mm-hmm. so he's going to have to do a, a, some sort of grapple, grapple tackle. Okay. So he's going to have to use, again, his, his combat maneuver bonus against the opposing combat maneuver defense, which is basically like attack bonus AC, but the special scores that have been made up. So he gets a plus six to his combat maneuver bonus. So I've rolled a d20, 10 plus 6, so that's 16. Has it overcome the skeleton in front? CMD, that's 14. So he's been able to push him back. So what Boris does is heroically, he sort of like slams himself in front and this creature sort of gets knocked back into the others. So there's two now sharing the same square because he's sort of piled in in front. And that's his turn. Now, because he's rushed into combat, let's have a look if he takes an attack of opportunity. Uh, boom. I feel like... Oh, I don't know why I didn't do this before, so carry on. Something no, I need to do. Um... <clears throat> okay, no, it's fine. There's no, there's no attack of opportunity for that. It's fine. Um, so it's in terms of who goes next. It's the rest of the skeletons, um, and they're all going to attack Boris. Oh wait, no, he's invisible to all three of them. The bowman had his bow break. That other thing skipped his turn. Yep, so it's Dave's go. Oh, shit. Sure. <clears throat> I'll, uh... I will progress to... Oh, shit. Sure. I'll progress to the door to stand alongside Harold and Paul. No, um, Giles. Yeah. And good old Boris. <laughs> um... So, to this distance, my throwing axe has actually got a decent... He's got no penalties, has he? No. Sound. I'm going to... Uh, I'll... Um, I shall have a go at um, throwing an axe at this guy, because I think I reckon I could do oh, this guy. I, I... Be right back. Got to pee. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> I think my ping's working. <laughs> Your ping? The ping. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Because I reckon from throwing at this guy, yep. I reckon I could just about miss Boris. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch an axe at the middle dude. Yes. Cool, go for it. Cool. So what do you want me to do? Roll D20 plus something? D20 plus... Your it would be the same as if you were throwing a dagger on your character sheet. Um, so if you have a look, it should give you ranges for your daggers to hit. So in the space of 10 feet, you get a plus four. Cool. Um, and for the throwing axe, it's up to 30 feet. So you get up to 30 feet is plus four. Plus four. 30 to 40, it then, um, sorry, 30 to 60, it becomes plus two. So it's plus, it's plus four to hit, basically. Okay, so I roll that. Yeah. Oh, it's 16. Okay, uh, 1d6 plus 1. That's a hit. Cool. 1d6 plus... Okay. That's a 4, so plus 1 is 5. So 5. Um... So you notice again your skele- your your axe comes down upon the skeleton, hits it, clangs the bone. But you notice that again, this type of attack ain't that effective. Shit. Oh, mate. It sort of slash. You notice as it slashes down, kind of glances against the bone and drags across it. This is with my throwing axe, right? Yeah, this is with your throwing axe. So as you th- sorry, as you throw it and yeah. it slashes it, it kind of just gets tangled up in the bone and like just you know hmm. doesn't really do any damage. It clearly hits. It makes contact. It would have been against a normal creature. It would have been a whopping good hit. But against this particular type of creature, 
um, the damage just that that sort of both the piercing attack and the slashing attack just don't seem to be doing what either a lot of damage or the, the you know any damage at all. Right. Cool. Cool. So I'm guessing it's more like brute force and ignorance. In here. Well, the boar seemed to do damage just fine with its with bludgeoning it with its body. Hmm. I have an idea for my next attack. <laughs> okay. Um. So one of you hear shuffling, um, and into your vision, um, there's a giant zombie that just kind of rips one of these little skeletons away and makes a move forward. And you notice um, that this guy, because you're very close, it's waving one giant fist that it's waving around, and on the other, it's just a, a stump. <laughs> and it's dressed in full armor, Viking regalia, um, and it's got a big axe strapped to its back. Cool. Uh, Lee, you'll go. Ooh, one, just just one moment. There we go, perfect. I've got what I need. Uh, there you go, Liam. I know you couldn't be with us on the video, but I've uh, added you in manually. I hope you like that. Have you? <laughs> oh, on the stream. Oh, oh when... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when the video catches up, I'll... Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to have to look at what's going on on Lee's stream, aren't I? Yeah, yeah that's fine. fine. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah thank that's you very cool. much. Hey, you're welcome. Nice. Right. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so we can't oh, use... Oh, wait a minute. I've got some feedback. Has anyone else got feedback? No, yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Okay. No, I think that was me. I think it was because I had turned on the um, stream. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Playing back through. I've muted it now, so it's all good. Can I, you know, with my turn, can I use a command, Boris, to, like, hit a skeleton? Or do I have to wait for it to be his turn? Um, You can issue the command now, but it's going to have to wait till the end of the round because he's super slow. But then will he get to do it again when it's his round or not? When it's his when it's his round, he'll follow the order to his best of ability. If you want to change that in the time that it gets to his round, then that's fine. Basically, you can issue an order now or issue an order later. It doesn't really make a difference because right, okay. he doesn't move until the end of the round. Got you. So basically, leave it in then. But in that case, um, have I got these things? Can I set fire to these? Hang on. Uh, how about you've got three level one spells left? Oh, so you've got two level one spells left, Lee. Mm -hmm. Just letting you know. Or do you have more than that? Let's have a quick look. How many can you cast? Four. I get three plus one, so yeah, four. Yeah, three plus four, four. So you've used two of them. No, you've used one of them. I've you've got three one. left. You've got three one level spells left, Lee. Yeah, I know. There's those guys outside which really scare me. Um, but hmm. Can I just move in for an attack with my sickle? Or can I run at them? Can I run at them to try and smack them down with my little body? Um, you've, you've, got, yourself, yeah. you've got three health, Lee. Oh, in or that case... You? I or you've will, got one health. I, I completely forgot about my health. I will not be running at them whatsoever. I will be using my <laughs> Cure Light wound, Wounds wherever it may be. I'm sure so I've got 1d8 plus that. 2. Yeah. Oh, crap. Ignore that. Ignore both those rolls. That is not what I want. 1d8 plus 2. There we go. 10. 10. Nice one. Uh, so heal yourself by 10, Lee. And that is your round done. Um, whose go is it next? Almost died. Add, it's you. Right. <clears throat> so I shout to these guys big fellas here is obviously after this jeweled skeleton hand that I happen to have in my pocket. <laughs> Any ideas? Do you shout that? Yeah. So 
everyone in the bar immediately looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, like, um, like there's people like shouting, throw it, just throw it, give it him back, give it him back. And like everyone starts to argue about what to do with the thing while they're cowering behind the tables. Okay. What do you reckon there, uh, guys? Do we give it him back or use it as a distraction somehow? Or... What? Wait, so what's what's he got now? I've what's got his hand, hand basically. The the big guy who's just come to the door is after yep. this hand. Oh, he's after the... ah remember the jeweled skeleton hand in my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Looks like I came to the wrong cabin. Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 it does. <laughs> well, with each every every finger on that hand has a gemstone, a ring with a gemstone in it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, like the whole it's got molten silver on. I mean, this the rest of him isn't that jeweled. Like the rest of him, he, he does have molten silver all over his his skeleton, and he's got this really thick ornate armor on. It's not jeweled. It looks very practical. This armor, um, okay. but on 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 his his other hand is just like bare. It's just got that molten silver on. The other hand that that Ad has was was it, it was pimped. It, it it was jewels all over the place. It was glitterified. It was everything. It had loads of different types of gemstones on, a big onyx on. Um, it, it it was his 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 jeweled hand. Can I can I smash? Is that even possible? The onyx ring that's on the hand. Yeah, yeah. Dad. Yeah. Else so do. there's one big onyx jewel on it. Um, yeah. Yes, you can give it a go. So how are you going to attempt to smash it? I'll just whack it against the bar. Okay, so there's rules to these sort of things. Okay. Um, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to roll d20 and add your strength to it to try and attack it. And these sorts of things have a, what's what's known as a hardness score. And then um, if you can beat its hardness, you then do damage to it. That's 19. 19. So that definitely beats its hardness score. Um, it is a melee weapon that's attacking against itself so there is some you know disadvantages um oh, oh liam's on. left the party is he yeah no, i just left as well oh he's joined the party excellent can Good. you can you send me an invite please yeah yeah hold on it sorry paris uh, the strength was it the modifier or yeah, yeah the strength modifier please so in that case it was nine yeah yeah Oh, okay. In that case, it was nine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you do a little crack on it. Well, you don't even manage to do a crack on it. It just kind of like bounces against it. Um, but you notice that like it, it's doable. It's just it sort of whacks up from the soft um, wood on the, the counter. Okay. Well, can I... Um, well, what were you hitting it with, Ad? I was just whacking it against the bar to try and crack it, but my strength modifier is zero. Well, can no my can I um draw it's a, not your go yet, Dave. Go <laughs> <laughs> um it is one of these skeletons turn, however, and it's going to attack Boris. Oh no oh, Boris. not Boris. And it hits And how much damage does it do to Boris? I just need to quickly look at his health. You can't take away my new pet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you notice this thing take a big rip out of Boris. Um, and you notice, like, basically the flesh on its flank just peels off, some ribs come off, and it's just what entrails they didn't take out of Boris when they were cooking him. Just all his, like, giblets just hit the floor. Um, he's still standing, but he's taken a significant amount of damage. It's all right, Boris. Um, you will survive. You will do more damage. Can you give me food? Could... Okay, don't mind. Don't mind.
Um, whose go is it next? It's been Lee's go. It's been this creature's go. Add, it's your go. Oh, wasn't I just smashing their hand? Is that is it my go already? Can't be right. Can't be. It's... Oh yeah, no, we've. Um... Was it top of the round? Was it somewhere? Else? Yeah, we went back to Lee for some reason. I'm so sorry, Liam. I missed you. I missed your go, and I missed also all the NPCs goes, and I missed Dave's go. We went so Lee. Had, <laughs> Lee for some reason had it went Lee add Lee. Um, so I tell you what, I didn't go. Boris just got hit. It didn't go yeah, back to Boris me. Got hit. No. It went Lee add Boris, and then it goes to. Actually, it wasn't even Boris. It was it was Lee Ad and then Skeleton. Skeleton. But, yeah. Then Liam. Oh, okay. Sorry, I I am doing it right. It's just Liam's go next. Excellent. Oh, um... Liam, it's your turn. Sorry. Oh, okay. Just very um, quickly, sound check. Can you hear me, Liam? What did I miss? I can hear you, Dave. It's a bit quiet. Google, that's fine. So you're still piled in this doorway. You've not really missed anything. Um, no. Boris is in front of you. He's just taking a lot of damage. Um, that big zombie has moved in, and yep. the skeletons are sort of just piling in a bit more. Right, okay. It's a bit of a bottleneck at the moment with Boris in the way of the door. Yeah. Right. Um Look at what skills. Oh. I'll, uh... Well, the throwing axe didn't work when Dave used it, did it? So, that's pointless. Um... I'll use some acid. I've got some acid in my equipment. I'll Excellent. Throw some acid. Yep. So every creature within a five feet of the point where the acid hits takes one point of acid damage. That is a pretty good attack. Um, so, in terms of your acid damage, you need to do a ranged touch attack against it. So it's d20 plus two for you. Okay. And you need to make a touch attack on at least one of these creatures. Is there anyone you're particularly aiming for? The big one. The big one. Nice one. Yeah, we'll go for the big one. Yep. So D20 plus two, please, Liam. Oh, I'm rolling for you, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Six, 16. <laughs> That's a hit. And it's 1D6. I... So that's five damage against this thing. And it splashes against the two creatures up above it. So they also take five damage as well. Um, yeah. Both those two creatures melt away. Okay. So uh, they are. I'll just remove them for the sake of the thing because they've melted through. Um, so you've completely melted those crew, two creatures, and the zombie's taken some damage. So you notice, like its face just melts slightly, um, and yeah. you see like skeleton underneath. Good stuff. You've noticed, Liam, as you're sort of staring through here. Um, I'll reveal the area for you. Um, but the creatures behind have gone. Right. Um, can I get a perception from you, Ad? Yeah. Twenty-eight. You hear rattling behind you in the um, basically down the chimney. Oh. <laughs> Not of course. Really <laughs> <laughs> Santa's coming. <laughs> and he looks like a giant fucking skeleton. Like <laughs> <laughs> He's not been eating um, 
So it's this thing's go, and behind you, Ad, you feel, um, well, you've turned around, you've noticed him, but he still catches you in the back. Well, actually, he doesn't catch you in the back. He catches the, um, the bartender in the back. God for that. Oh, I'm trying to reveal the area. So catches the bartender in the back and kills him. Well, not takes him to the floor. I'll put an X on him, but let's move him out of the way for uh, the sake of the, um, the game. So he he just gets knocked unconscious and slides to the floor. Um, so yeah, that's what happens with him. Um, you hear some more knocking and scratching. Uh, Lee, can you give me a perception? Yeah, sure. Perception. It's about to get pear shaped in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can reveal the areas around you, can't tell me. You say you can. I'm just trying to remember where my perception is. This is one that I'm... Oh, it's somewhere in here. There it is. It's a plus four. So right. D20 plus four, yeah. please. And that's a 17. Yeah. Um, so, a la the um, movie Blade Runner, if anyone's seen the great scene where the uh, robot sticks its head through the wall and says hello... Um, a skeleton's head crops through the wall and you notice its hands like just forcing through and just ripping this thing to shreds. Here's Skelly. Here's Skelly, yeah. <laughs> um, so you you see that coming through and it's spending that, that round demolishing that um, wall. Um, in terms of other shuffling, there's the final skeleton. Um, that's on the floor is going to attack Boris and hit um, rips off essentially what is most of Boris's face and Boris is basically just a, a skin and bones on wheels he's, he's, very, he's kind of just Flaking off everywhere now. Wait, what? Boys have wheels? <laughs> it's the <a> same. <laughs> he he is just literally like a chicken drumstick right now. There's not a lot of substance to him left. Okay, is he still movable? It has his turn coming yet. Um, it's his turn now. Okay, can he um just give it everything that he's got at the guy in front of him? Of course he can. Um, so Boris is going to try a, a slam. Boris hits. Um, one d six plus four. So Boris does nine damage to this thing. And you just kind of see the armor crumple on this skeleton, uh, on the zombie, sorry. So it's just, it's front kind of caves in and it just goes, whew, and it's still standing, but you notice the skeleton all like bowed now and twisted and, and it's clearly some done some serious damage to the zombie, sorry. Um, so the zombie is just like badly damaged and, and Boris is just, you know, again, flaking everywhere. Um, he, he's basically a picked carcass at this point. <laughs> but he's still going. He's Go still going. Boris. He's still going. Um, Dave, your turn. Okay. Um can I um are you still trying to sorry Ulf, are you still trying to smash the gems on that hand? I will do as soon as I've run across the other side of the bar. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of an issue behind you, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, there is that. Um But I I will lob it at you on my turn if you like. 
Well, I was thinking about passing you one of my throwing axes for you to use it to smash the gems. Well, I think it's just my strength more than the thing I'm hitting it with. Oh, okay, yeah, fair point, yeah. <laughs> um, can you not hear me, Liam? Have we lost Liam? Have we lost Liam? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. He's listening. <laughs> okay, can you hear me, Liam? I've just met you. I can't hear Dave. I can hear you. You, sound, you do sound a bit muffly, Dave. Ah, oh, look. I can, okay. I can hear you lot. That's okay. weird. Yeah. We'll, we'll let you know what he does. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah, no, that's hey. fine. I can, <laughs> I can just about hear him through, because I've got this stream up, so I can still just about hear him. Okay, cool. Oh, that'll, that'll do. I can For now. Okay. That's better. Is that, is that much better here, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Swallow the uh, mic, Dave. That's the only way we can hear you. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, you've had bigger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ice cream. Bigger ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. Mm. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> So what so am this I... jeweled skeleton hand, I think, did you want it somehow? Or... I think, well, I think what is like, Sven doing right now? Or Sved? Usual. So probably. Sved has, has an axe out and he's, I mean, you guys are bottlenecking the, the entrance to this place, but he he's seen the head through the door and, and he's got an axe. And, and as far as you can tell, he's ready in action. Okay. So, I mean, that's going to be an archer, isn't he, there, who's going to be firing at us. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go and move beside Sved. Hmm. And... Uh, shit, I don't know what to do here. I mean, can I... Can I physically take the hand... I mean, is the hand's on the counter, isn't it, still? That's where you were trying to hit it. Yeah, we're smashing it on the bar. Yeah, if if he gives it you, he, he gives it you. Like yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's it's not a problem. You can transfer it. Oh, okay. Well, so I'll, I'll give it you. <laughs> yeah, mm. give me, give me. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, <laughs> and I'll have it on the hat. I'll, I'll, can, so can you describe the hand to me? What, what gems are where and what? Because the so actually physically embedded in the hand is a very large onyx stone behind the knuckle of the middle finger. Right, uh, surrounding okay. it are a constellation of, of of small gems, but they're not particularly discernible. It's almost like glitter, so it's almost like dust of some sort of other gem that's on it. It's a bit uh, it's vajazzled in want of a better word. <laughs> um, <laughs> on the other fingers, where the um, where the actual the the the, the, the where your natural sort of dips in your fingers are, there's actually embedded gems that are various different types, which you're not entirely sure what they are. Um, and the hand is sort of molten, molten cast in silver. Um, okay. It's sort of cut off at the joint, um, but you right. can clearly see the outline of the joint in just bone. And on the palm of the hand, it's it's just plain. There's just like, you can see the scrapes of the, um, the bone on there. Okay. So it's a, it's a proper skeleton hand, and the zombie's got skeletony bits to him, but he's mostly zombie. But this is just it's it's just like a bejeweled hand. Okay. All right. Okay. So, well, I've got the hand in my possession now, mm. and and you say that there's like an onyx ring that's kind of embedded in the middle. It, it it's just a gem. Think of it like a massive wart on it. It's it's that's that's how it kind of looks in gem form. Right. Okay. It, it's it's embedded into this this thing. You, you, why? What you think? Are you thinking you're trying to take it off? I'm thinking about trying to hit it with an axe and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go for but, it. I mean, alternatively, I am curious to see because I know these zombies are obviously trying to come into the building. But if they are they coming in for the hand itself? Um. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering about if I move around with the hand. To see if they follow it, make sure that they are just it's not just a wandering horde that's like attacking us. 
I mean, the only thing is they're trying to get into the same building. Mm. So if you wander around the same building, they're still going to try and get into it. That's true. Um. Okay, I'll just put it with an axe. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's ye old method of. of problem solving twat it with an axe it's it's, it's you know yeah it's the common saying isn't it just you know twat it with an axe um go on then you twat it with an axe uh d20 plus your strength please okay d20 plus strength. actually entire attack bonus because it's your axe so it's strength plus your um attack bonus so that is what you'd normally have to hit so that is what it's plus two isn't it for you Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so D20 plus 2. D20 plus 2. I, yep. I got 17. You got 17. That's a hit. Can you roll 1D6 plus... Um, D6 plus 2? Is it plus 2? Uh, plus 1 for you. I have no idea. For my melee, is it? What do you get? One really? um, um, I got a four. You got a four? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you twat it with an axe. Um, the onyx yes. smashes um, on the hand. But it's not just the onyx you go through. You bite through the hand, um, separating um, it. Right. And you notice very quickly the skeleton turns to dust. You're left with tiny shards of yeah. silver. All the other yeah. gems explode on it. And you okay. notice um, perception, please, guys. Perception time. I did a thing. I've done one for you, Liam. 21. Okay. So perception. all of you begin to see the zombie like suddenly like tremble, clutch its face, and then sort of melt into dust. And it, 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 it just disappears. It, it doesn't leave a trace. The, the, the armor on the floor, everything, it just kind of goes. And then you see just sort of a spirit whoosh up and it just falls in a heap of dust. The other zombies, however, uh, the, sorry, the skeletons, however, are still coming after you. Oh, shit. Well, I got rid of one, guys. Got rid of the boss. So that's fine. Oh, oh cool. Got rid of the I did a thing. The... I did a thing. <laughs> you did the thing indeed. <laughs> right. Boss was easier than the rest of them. Boss was indeed easier <laughs> yeah. than the rest of them. Um, Santa. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Santa time. Uh, oh, so no. Santa's gonna take a step forward, and he's and... gonna shift. I haven't had to go yet, so... No, you haven't. Have uh, Before Santa arrives. <laughs> Before Santa arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sorry, you're right. I misread. I, I need to remove the zombie because that had a different AC. Um, not AC, sorry. Um, you're right. Sorry, Santa's... It's not Santa's... It's not time for Santa yet. We're a few months early. Um, Lee gets his go, then you get his, your go, and then it's Santa. Sorry. Um you're right. You caught me out there. Well, I caught yeah, I, I caught myself out there. It. <laughs> um, it's because when you're controlling like 18 different characters, um, yeah, I imagine, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lee, your turn. Oh, fantastic! You see the guy. Um, I'll just highlight him here. This uh, head in the wall. No, not not the head in the wall. I, oh no, I don't want to try him yet. This guy here. Yeah, he's he's head the guy with his head in the wall. Uh, oh, right, okay. I didn't realize his head was in the wall. Maybe I should zoom in a bit more. Get some glasses. Uh, why is his head in the wall? He's he's smashing through it, Lee. Like he's got his head is butted his head through, and he's got two hands through. So that's a solid wall. That is that's like a two log wall. Okay. And what he's done is he's you think about a log cabin. He's so what you get with a log cabin is they slice the logs in half and they pile them on top of each other. So what he's done is he's basically put his head through two trees and his hand through two trees, and he's wiggling and the the wall separating. Nice. Uh, how long is that going to take him to do? Um, he's breaking through now, and that's why you can see him. Fantastic. I'd like to command undead on that guy there. Okay, cool. You lose control of Boris. 
that just fine. to let you know Boris is about dead dead anyway oh, that's very true Boris is, Boris is very nearly dead um Boris Boris is gonna turn on us Boris will turn on you yeah um mm. okay right. command and dead so lead you know what the wall save is they have to defend against um I think it's 12 I'm just gonna check command and dead uh will save 12. Cool. It, it failed. Um, it's like Boris staying a bit longer then. It stops in its tracks. No, it, as in the skeleton looks to you. Oh, right. So you're in charge of the skeleton now. You can make that assumption. Boris hmm. begins to shake. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> No, Boris is fine. Boris just needs a tap and he's going to be out anyway. The skeleton's a bit more, well, I hope it's going to be a bit more useful. Ad, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Can, oh. Right. As I've got no melee weapon. Can I grab a bottle or something from behind the bar? A nice sturdy one. Cool. Yeah, there's loads of them. You grab a nice big... Uh, I mean, actually, Ad, looking round, the barman kept a big club behind oh, the bar. I'll, I'll be grabbing that. Cool. So, yeah, you've picked up a club. Okay. And I'll I'll twat Santa Claus. <laughs> so you've you've chosen to be naughty as opposed to be nice, yeah. So you you um so move up to Santa then. Okay, yeah. And then roll to hit. So it's your standard melee attack. Um with a weapon. Fifteen. So is that fifteen plus two, is that? Yeah. Uh okay. which is a hit. Yeah. Um, can you roll for damage with for me? So it's one d six, and it's plus your strength, which I believe is zero, isn't it? Zero. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just straight d six. Uh, that's a one. One. Uh, so you hit it with the club, and as you bring it down, you notice this club hits his skull and cracks. Nice. The club is effective. Good. 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 Mm. Bludgeoning weapons. Bludgeon seem to way. hit these creatures. Um, so the skeleton yeah. takes one damage. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Santa's been hit in the face. <laughs> um, Santa's turn. So it's it's revenge <laughs> of Santa's time uh, and, and he has a broken scimitar in his hand um, that he's going to bring down upon you. Um, and that is a hit. And it is. Can you take four damage for me, please? Okay. Oh. Sorry, I think I've just twigged this to why Liam can't hear me. Um, so who's next? Lee. Ooh. Your skeleton looks like it's ready to move. <laughs> cool. It does need to finish doing what it's doing, though, because it's okay. halfway between this this wall. So I can't really do much of him at the moment, can I, then? Can well, you I need send... to give him an order, otherwise he's going to be halfway through this action forever. I see. Can I order him to go attack Santa? Yes. So he continues to break through the wall and ends up on the other side, um, leaving a gaping hole. Um, but mm -hmm. he's he's just burst through the wall, basically, and he will continue to Santa on his next turn. Fantastic. Um, Liam, oh. your turn. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Is there just Santa now that we're dealing with? So the Santa, there's Boris in front of you, which is now he's now Boris and unle Boris unleashed, and there's <laughs> uh, the skeleton you can see the other side as well. Uh, ah, you yeah, also yeah, hear yeah. rummaging from the area where um, Lee's new friend has come through. 
Right, okay. Um... Can I throw Boris at that skeleton? From... <laughs> <laughs> so as much as there isn't a lot of Boris left, um, Boris is still a boar. He's, he's, he's quite substantial in size. size. He's also a creature that's able to s- struggle. So please do. Um, yeah. <laughs> So go for it. Yeah, you just you just have to overcome his um, combat maneuver bonus. So you're taking him and, you, and you're attempting to throw him. Yeah. So your CMB is plus six. So I'm going to roll d20 plus six. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Boris's is his CMB is fifteen. So you pass. Now, how far are you going to be able to move him? That's the question. So let's have a look at the rules on throwing characters. <laughs> oh, they can throw any object they can lift. You cannot throw your maximum load and you drop it adjacent to you. Picking an object is a move action or while throwing it a standard action. So it's possible to pick up and throw an object in one round. Great, wonderful. There aren't official rules for throwing characters. So that's fine. That means we'll wing it. So that's fine. I've, I've, right. I've had him overcome what's, UCMD. What's, what's Boris's weight? That's the next thing I was going to look up, Liam. So his weight yeah. um, is that of a standard boar. We're going to shave off some pounds because of the damage he's taken. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take a, a third of his weight off for the damage he's, he's yeah. done. So let's have a look at the weight of a standard boar. Pathfinder. So the boar weighs two hundred pounds. So we're going to take a third off. I should be able to do that anyway. My weight allowance lift overhead is three fifty. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, excluding what you've already got on you, but you don't have a whole yeah. lot of gear on you, do you? So your no. gear currently weighs... My total weight is 77 pounds. 77, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, throw Boris. <laughs> yeah. Wow. As, as for the damage, um, what I'm going to say is I'm, I'm going to force you essentially to use what would be a slam attack without putting his strength into it. So I'm just going to say 1d6 damage to attack with Boris, um, but not take any damage to Boris because he's quite solid. Um, yeah. But it is going to be blood, bludgeoning damage. Um, so, yeah, you throw Boris at... Who are you going to throw it at? The, the other skeleton outside the door. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're going to have to roll to hit. Yeah. So if you can roll a d20 for me. Oh, um, would, to see so if nice. you can hit. Uh, yes, cool. Sorry. Um, <laughs> forget that you don't have dice. Uh, that's going to be... So what I'm going to say is that this is an improvised weapon. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to take penalties. Now, normally, if you try and throw an improvised weapon, if you're not trained in it, it's minus eight. You've rolled 17. I'm going to plus you six, which is normal. So that is what? So essentially minus eight. That's going to be 17 minus two. Um, so that's going to be 15 Boris I'm going to say he's technically a splash weapon because <laughs> I, I, I think you only have to hit this guy's touch AC I, I, I don't think it makes sense that you, I mean you're throwing something like a boulder yeah. so I, 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 I don't think his armor's going to count here or at least his dexterity is not going to count. So I'm going to reduce his AC because you're throwing something so large and heavy at him. Um, So I'm going to say that's a hit. Um, Very nice. So 1d6 damage. um, That's five. Yeah, that skeleton's crushed by Boris. Nice. (laughs) And Boris is now over here. Um, So give me a second. I'll just delete him off. So yeah, Boris is here. Um, so, a couple of goes to just round off. One is Sved's readied action. Um, so, Sved actually was going to be very helpful 
and chop at this skeleton, he's still going to attempt to do so. So he moves forward 30 feet and he's going to try and attack your skeleton link. Oh, oh Because he doesn't know you've taken over him and he's going to miss. So his axe is going to go down and miss. Because, you no, know, you, you haven't told anyone that, that he's in <laughs> your control, are you? Um, it's just, Sved, Sved, I want help. I'm not helping you. <laughs> Sved says <laughs> help. It's something I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Classic Sved. If, if, <laughs> if you told him, then, then he would have known. Um, so that was Sved's readied action. That would have been really helpful, though, if you hadn't have taken him over. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, that is, that, that's, that's all around. So it's back to Dave. Oh, no. Okay, so, we, I mean, I, I'm going to assume that Ulf has got Santa Claus covered. You'd hope. I hope. <laughs> so, I, I don't I'm mind gonna... if you want to come and see what's in Santa's sack. <laughs> these oh, no. these Santa jokes are getting real, aren't they? <laughs> oh, it takes me back. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, Dave's Christmas trauma. Uh, <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna move over here to the. Oh my God, I'm going. To, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I'm going to actually no. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk from where I was, was there I think, to. I'm going to try and get past. Can I get past this skeleton and go through the crack that's in the the wall? Yes. I'll look outside that. Right. Yeah, you don't get much further because. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where you uh, that's where you stop, Dave. Cool. Um, let's reveal let's reveal some of this for you. Aren't I glowing? I am glowing, aren't I? You are glowing. Yeah. I got touched by Giles by a glowing thing. <clears throat> Okay, so since we know that the uh, since I know my axes don't work and things like that, um, I'm, it's crawling. I'm just going to go and try and stamp on its head or kick it in the face. You're going to try and do an unarmed attack? Yeah. So you're not skilled in unarmed attack, so it. that would trigger an attack of opportunity. <laughs> You're not like some sort of like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're not some sort of super wrestling or punching master. So y your weapons are what you've got. Cool. Um, in that case, I'm going to have to go with the... Um, I'm... No, just put Can you. I... Can I use one of my throwing axes as like just a normal axe? Yeah, like a normal slashing yeah. weapon. But this time, because obviously I imagine I've got like a, a blade. Um, let's just have a look. See, I've got a blade. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a blade. Yeah. Um, can I instead of attacking like that? Can I go yeah. like that and hit with the blunt end? I'm going to say, right, in terms of the rules, no. it says you can only use it as a slashing weapon. But what I'm right. going to say is you can use it as a... Um, I, I'm going to say as a small bludgeoning weapon. Okay. So I'm going to give you some penalties for the, ty for the size of the damage you do, but I would let you use it as a bludgeoning weapon because you're desperate. Cool. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, roll a d20 for me, please. And your damage is going to be d3. So 1d6 oh, oh, okay. halved, rounded up. I got 17. Got 17, 17 to hit. Nice. Uh, me d3 is my little triangle one, isn't it? Uh, no, so you don't own a d3, so you have to take a d6 and halve the result. 
so you normal okay. standard die. Okay. Half the result, uh, round it up to nearest number. Cool. Let me see. Uh, is a four, so half of that is two. Yes. So you do two damage plus your strength modifier. Strength. Um, so normally it's plus one on a damage you do, don't you? Yeah, plus one, yeah. Yeah. So that is two plus one, three damage to this thing, and you basically just crack its skull in, and it sort of gives you a bit of a, a look. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. <laughs> um, whose go is it next? Lee, it's your turn. Okay, cool. Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to move myself just over here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Running away from the revenge of Boris. <laughs> well, yeah, you say that. I, I mean, if I'm moving over here, I'm assuming these these squares that are dark and should now light up. Oh yes, hundred percent. Um, so I can see what's going. I've just found this area. So there's still the unconscious man that you drugged. Um, there's still the 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 young Viking lordling, and there's his bodyguard Darius, who's just kind of waiting there with his weapons, kind of watching you guys. But if anything gets close, he's just gonna you know take it out. From here, mm. can I do a bleed in touch to Santa? No, you need to be in melee range. Mm, also, I... bleeding touch works on living creatures. No, oh, okay. It was worth trying. It's yeah. one of my favourites. I do like a bit of uh, bleeding touch. Um. Hmm. So flick light wounds. Is that? Still not told Sved the skeleton's friendly, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Sved, leave, leave skeleton it. alone, mate. It, uh, I've got control of that. He looks very confused, but he, he nods. Okay. Jeez. Uh, Maybe I shouldn't have intervened there. Maybe I should have let Sved continue attacking this <laughs> you're, thing. You're too good. You're I too probably good. should have, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet. Glad you wasn't quiet there, because that would just been painful watching my little skeleton get battered. Um, We've only had nine sessions. It's fine. I'm still helping you. <laughs> Next session, I'll be the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if, oh, 50 foot rage bursts. Oh, what's this? Fills your energies with fear and doubt. Mm, that's not going to really help here, is it? I don't know. I think I think actually I'm just going to stop there for now. I'm going to stay here and see what happens next. Typical Lee, skipping his go to save on spells. <laughs> 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 He's got an array of summoning. He, he can summon monsters to fight for him. He can heal other people. He decides to wait there. Just it, stands by the bar. Just, it, just stands yeah. by the bar. It's a good move, and I have not forgotten about my monster. I do remember how uh, it was slightly useful when we were dealing with uh, those creatures next to the river. That's true. Add, it's uh, your turn. I will take another bash at Santa's face. <laughs> Does it make you feel guilty <laughs> saving it? <laughs> Saying that. Oh my god. No. <laughs> okay, d20 please, plus your um, regular attack bonus. Uh, so 14. In total? Yeah. Excellent. Um, 14 is a miss, I'm afraid. Oh, you what? So San Santa Santa dodges. Do I get any movement? Uh, no, you've already made a wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no checking it twice. Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah. So you you could actually make a small move backwards. Actually, add. But uh, he's going to have an attack of opportunity, isn't he? Not if you do like a just like a five step back, five oh, foot oh, or uh, step back. You can you can do a half move um, as well as an attack. Cool. So have I, have I got enough movement to jump behind the bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that then. Yeah. Mm. 
leave this poor guy over here. Poor Yarrow. He came in, he had a drink, he rat him out to the old master. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um <laughs> you need to watch some of these episodes, Liam, and, and, and see what's happened. Um but basically this poor man was just drinking in the bar, trying to avoid work outside, and Ad went out and just ratted him out for no reason. <laughs> and and the old master's a scary bloke. Um He's like Mr. Motivator on acid in a in a beardy <laughs> Viking form. Uh, so he was, yeah, he was he was very shouty. They were on a boat with him and he was just screaming, row, row, row. <laughs> so yeah, poor Yarrow. Um and now you leave him to die. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's your go done. Um so it's Santa's go next. And Santa is able to move and basically attack the same distance as you. So he moves behind the bar and he attacks you with his spear, which hits. Four damage, please, Ad. He's coming to town. I ain't sitting on Santa's lap. <laughs> you might not have a choice at this rate, Ad. <laughs> you might have to get on a bony knee. Um, <laughs> um, Liam, your turn before uh, Lee's thing. And oh, wait, no, it goes before you, Liam. Um, it's time for your skeleton, please, Lee. You're getting him to attack Santa, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, so these skeletons move, so 30 foot. They get improved initiative, okay. Cool, just checking its range for attack. Um, yeah, that's fine, it'd be able to attack Santa. Go on, Santa, go back to the North Pole. That is Miss, I'm afraid. He misses Santa. No, oh, I should get a Boris. Boris when I missed. Um, Liam, it's your turn, and then it's Boris's. Oh, no, it's the last skeleton, then it's Boris. Right. <clears throat> oh, I will. I'll go after Boris and attack because he's nearly dead anyway. That's true. Yeah, Boris is low. I'll just go for regular attack. Okay. Um, so you move up to where Boris is and you go for a regular attack. So you are... Yeah. D D20 plus D6 with your... Uh, plus 6 with your great axe. So that's 16. Let's have a look at Boris's armor. That's a hit. And let's do damage for you, Liam. So you do 1d12 plus 6 damage. You roll 11. So you do 17 damage to Boris. And Boris explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Boris. There is just debris of cooked boar everywhere. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah, B Boris was a delicious meal resurrected by a, a, a necromatic spell. Right. So he, he, he was delicious, goodly pig with extra crackling, and he turned into giant killing machine very quickly. Good lord. Um, so, uh, so Boris is down, good. but you, you're left with a, a, a lovely hog roast. Nice. <laughs> Um, and now we've got the last skeletons to go. Uh, so, Dave. Right. Well, uh, that was a miss. No, I'm I'm saying things are attacking you. Um, <laughs> so this wall has completely collapsed. By the way. Oh, um, so there's a bit more room. That skeleton comes through. Oh, how many more? That's is a there? hit. What? 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 
can you take three damage for me, Dave? What? What the? F okay. You know that big hole that Lee's skeleton made? Yeah. What it's done is it's collapsed that section of log. So there's enough. So basically, the length oh. of here is open because those logs have tumbled away. That other skeleton was crowding around the back and it's come round. Right, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um... Uh, your turn, Dave. Because Boris, yeah. um, you are so lucky, by the way. Boris didn't have a round. Boris was was easily the the most rock solid character on this in this game so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, but Boris had the strongest attack. So it's good you took out Boris. Sad you relinquished controlly because you could have healed him. No, Damn I don't it. think. I, I didn't know you could heal uh, creatures that you'd uh, kind of like. Your it's a lesson for the future. Your aura can heal undead, Lee. It can okay. damage undead and heal. It can damage living, heal undead. But anyway, sorry, Dave, your turn. Heal um, undead. Okay. Well, I'll, um, call all over, I'll call Harold over and ask him to come to this around here somewhere. And I'll attack this one again. Since I've already started, so I'll, I'll do it again. Okay, so D20. Uh, it's 14. Um, 14's a miss. Wait, that's 14 plus... Oh, oh usual it. attack bonus. Um, yeah. So that's plus two, isn't it? Uh, so that's a hit. Yay. And then it's 1D3 plus yeah. one. Guys, let's not forget that uh, Leggy is going to have to leave us very soon. Yeah. Um, oh, of course he is. So... We need to um, wrap Actually, this yeah. up or something for the night and continue it. Yeah, shall we Shall we wrap this? If you just deal that damage, we'll wrap it up. Sorry, Liam, I wasn't aware of the time. No, it was, sorry, it's because we started about half an hour late. To be fair, there's only 15 yeah. minutes left in this fight. Um, but yeah, um, we'll, yeah, we'll wrap it up. I mean, I'm off work for the next two weeks, so... Oh, nice. No worries. Sounds there's good. no issues there. I'm off this week. If anyone wants to play at any time, this this thing to finish this battle. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Mid um, midweek yeah. Pathfinder Lee. I can Maybe. do Thursday. Maybe we 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 can do a we can do a half session or something to to wrap um, this up. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm only in work until Wednesday, so right, Thursday then. Thursday. How much damage, Dave? Did oh, you do? Sorry, I, I rolled five. So that'll be half of that plus something, won't it? No. Yeah, so five will be three. Cool. Plus you one, so that's four damage. Um, you crack this guy's head off and it crumbles away. Yay! We killed him. Right. That, as they say, is that. So uh, yes. we'll end the combat there. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Liam, and we'll finish no that problem. off on Thursday. No it's been a very combat heavy session so apologies for yeah, that um but we we've done a lot of role play we, we had no combat last session only role play so uh yeah. oh, no we did we have a very brief um chat with boris johnson but didn't we i will <laughs> hopefully have a, have my laptop sorted by next week or well, by the next session cool nice and uh, we can actually play properly so we'll oh, see you on Thursday. Here. Sorry it went so close to the mark, Liam. I completely yeah. no, forgot. Right, and as I say, right. we started Don't a bit worry. later. Don't worry about it. So uh, right. see you on Thursday. Yeah. Yep. See, see you then, dude. Right. right. Bye. Yeah. All right. Right. Should we do 7.30 or is that not good for everyone? I'm cool with that. I'm awful. I'm awful. No I'm idea. Awful. I, I won't know until, <laughs> until Wednesday yeah. night, really. We can bump it to later. It'll literally take about 15 minutes to finish off the combat and then probably about half an hour to wrap it up. Um, so it'll be like an hour session at the most.